Let's do this. So, learning Anna. So, Anna. Fucking Christ. Anna Williams. Alright. So, normally what I do when I first start out... So, I do a bunch of things when I make my notes. When I make my notes for characters. Uh, I have a bunch of obsolete notes that maybe I should translate to... Uh, online so that people can see them but for now I uh, will do one of these and if you guys like them I'll do them more often which is that I start off with this and then I go 10 11 12 13 14 15 very uh, very generically this is usually the cutoff point for launchers for the most part unless you have a crazy damaging launcher this is normally because it is it's usually like the easiest thing to do which is like you get a couple you get all this and then you're usually good to go on all your punishes early on when you're learning as well is that this isn't a bad idea because you sort of how your pun or your punishes in front of you so uh, when I'm going online and I can go Oh man, I remember that thing's negative 13. What's my negative? Uh, what's my 13 frame punish? Uh, then I can refer to this really quickly, or my uh, paper notes, whichever it be. Sweet. I didn't pick the stage. All this music sick. I should probably mess with the music at once at some point. I like Tekken 7 music quite a bit, but you know, it's not the end all be all. It'd be cool to mess with some some other stuff. All right. So uh, I did a stream yesterday, so not everything I'm gonna do is gonna be like brand new learning, but you can uh, supplement that as this is a character that I've watched for quite some time. So it's like, if I started learning how to play Miguel, I wouldn't be like completely lost because I've watched the Miguel. So you can like sort of translate it that way. So it's not completely from scratch, but I don't think I've learned, I think I'll, I don't think I'll learn a single character from scratch, uh, just from naturally watching fighting games. That's really silly. I don't like this combo, but it is, it does a good damage because of the, that being, uh, what's it called? Wow, that's natural? What the fuck? Uh, being unscaled. But, it, in all consideration that she probably doesn't do a lot of damage without it. If you were to do, like... Come on, boy. You know. Uh, how much does this hurt on its own? 25? This is just 28. This does 20 on its own? Okay. 52. Like, you know. It's not that great. So, you sort of need to do this on scale if you want to do good damage on your stuff. 61. Alright. So, that's our bread and butter. Uh... I guess if you, this is sort of how I think about my my normals when I'm learning them, is that you go, what's my launcher? Well, it's 444. And then what am I gonna use to stabilize the combo afterwards? A lot of the times, uh, for low hitting stuff, that's down 4-1 or full crouch, or full crouch down forward 4-1. Uh, and then afterwards, you're like, or uh, if you're getting launched pretty high, like let's say, what is it? Um, this, judgment, um, CJ up 4-4. Four four. Then you're doing uh, down 4-3-2. Down 4-3-2 is really good. You see how fast it recovers? I kind of wanted to put down 4-3-1 more often because it like looks really cool. But it doesn't work that way. So. I wanted, I wanted to do something like this. If that would work, that would be sick. And it doesn't. So if you if you were to do this, you'd probably have to truncate it. Yeah, and then it probably wouldn't do enough damage. 
So you'd be 59 here, as opposed to this. That'd be 63 if I got the unscaled right. So, all right. Back to the game at hand. All right, what's our Anna Williams? Anna Williams, as I've understood uh, through a lot of looking at her frame data and stuff like that, is that the character she mauls you. She's really good in this one place, a one P range, or a zero, uh, zero backdash range. But, uh, cause it looks like a lot of her moves sort of don't reach from this area. Uh, there's a f very few amount of moves that do that. Uh, also secondly is that she has this thing called chaos judgment and uh, chaos judgment is sort of meant to be this thing that like avoids lows and the, uh, avoids lows and throws and then gets mix ups. So you have stuff like that. I have throws. Uh, you can go to the crouch dash out of it, stuff like that. That is, uh, that's sort of the idea between the character. However, you have to worry a little bit because she has stuff like um, four, 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 which is a launcher for downtown that will crush lows. And you have to worry about stuff like uh, what's it called, shredder kicks. I don't think she can combo off if you do both Shredder kicks, but it is something. We read Japanese now? Fuck no, we don't. But we do read his inputs. We do read inputs, so that's easy to read. We can work with that. All right, so let's get down to it. What are you looking for? So first thing I do is look for uh, look for punishes real quick, and I write them down. Makes my life easy. I think what I was uh, found yesterday was that her 10 frame punish was 2-3. This is 24 damage. It's pretty. It's kind of. I want to say slightly on the on the low end, right now. Because of a lot of the damage changes that they. A lot of the, uh, what's it called? A lot of the damage changes they did to 10 frame punishes. But it leaves you close enough for a down forward four. Or down forward two, sorry. Leaves you close for that. Leaves you close for that. Leaves you close for that. So this is not a bad idea, right? You go, you get two, three, wine glass. You can even cheat a little bit and get go uh, low out of this. There's some stuff. How plus are you if you go into stance after 4-2-3? Uh, let me see. Four two three back. On hit, you are still plus 8. So, that's pretty good. Are you li are you 0 on, on hit on this? That sucks. You actually probably want to go into stance here. If this frame, if uh, this frame date is right, and going into stance gives you plus eight, you probably you probably want to go into stance. Hell yeah, do this shit. Uh, four. What was a uh, was my CJ four combo? On CJ four. Was that uh was that the full crash down for four one pickup? Yeah. Okay. Sick. I'm okay with that. Especially you got stuff like that. You have this move. This move is dirty as shit. Uh what was my stupid combo off this? I had a stupid combo. There's a good combo for sure. And then there's a stupid combo. Yeah, that combo's dumb. All right, you can do a ton more damage off this. I think you can get three crouch jabs, actually, now I think about it. Or dash jabs. We'll figure it out later. Anyway, 
So 2-3, I think, was her best punish. And seeing that you can go into stance afterwards, that makes it pretty good. You should probably go for a mix-up off this, especially considering you have a couple safe mids to work with out of uh, CJ. Uh, if you want plus frames, however, uh, you can go to 1-2. That's 17. That seems like it's pretty good. Or 2-1. Um, Actually, you probably want to go for 1-2. So you go for one Pretty sure if you do your jab string into a low, you can probably go into another full crouch mix up. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. You can probably do you can probably do stuff like this where you are here. Let's keep it simple. Yeah, you can probably do stuff like that. Uh, ch 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 what else? So we got two, three. We got two, three for the punish. I'm going to CJ for some other stuff. That'll be fun. Fergus streams. That's right. I gotta go through Fergus' streams quite a bit, right? I gotta go through his streams and uh, figure out what's actually uh, what he's been learning as well. Okay. Let me see. We got that. Let's look for a 12 frame or 11 frame. 11 frame, four. Four on its own, 15 damage. Four, three. Four, three is a low, so that's, uh, that, this could be sneaky, but uh, this is still would be her 11 frame punish. Cool. Well, 13 frames. So I recall correctly, there's something that does more damage than this. Was it? Three, four, yeah. So uh, I need to find her 12 frame. I forgot what it was, but her 14 frame was three, four. So I know, I think there's one other, I think this is also 14 frames. Uh, and the thing to note about this is that I, one of them gives you the spin out and the other one doesn't. So you probably want to go for the knockdown on this one, all things considered. Oh, booty bump. What is booty bump? Do you know if the online uh, Tekka World Tour events will be streamed? I don't believe they will. I don't believe they will. Uh, I could be wrong. But uh, as far as I've heard, I don't think they are. This is 14 frames. Okay. So we were right. So this is good. Uh, this is 14 frames. Oh, booty bop. You're right. It's also 14 frames. So, but this is, this is probably optimal. Um, trying to see this range. Yeah. Might be some things that you couldn't, you can't punish with three, four that you can punish with booty bop actually, considering that if this is the range of this right here, and that's the range of that. standing in this range I can boom booty bop so I want to put that in the frame I'm gonna put that uh in the data for two plus three it's for damage this one is for range okay cool there you go uh 12 frames 12 frames 12 frames you know you know what's an easy way to do this you go Oops, not that. Look like this. 12 frames. Down four. That's probably something else. CJ throws. This is not what I meant. Does she not have a 12 frame? Huh. That's crazy. I could have sworn I saw a 12 frame yesterday. That means that this might be her best uh, 13 frame, which at that point you might as well go for that. Uh, down forward one, two does give you plus five or plus two. That's nice, but it doesn't give you the damage. Uh, her punishes might suck. If you're going from 10 to 14, I'm not, I wouldn't be too happy about that. I'd want something in the middle ground.
Um, hmm. A lot of these are from like full crouch, stuff like that. So not technically punishes. Never know when a 13 frame mid punisher can come in handy though. That's true. That is true. I should write it down. You're you're right. Two. Mid punish. And then last thing I need to check is that if down four two is uh, 15 frames. So the top make it this simple. Down forward two. Down forward two 16 frames. Okay, it's good to know. So that kind of sucks, but we do know now. Uh, she has flip kick as well. I don't know how they would denote flip kick on this. Is that 15 frames? There's no way. There's no way this is 15 frames. That's just crazy. If this is 15 frames, this is sick. I just don't feel like it. It is negative 11, 12 on block. You're, you're right. Do you remember saying Fergus's uh, on a, uh, and a Punisher's were ass? Yeah, it really looks like it. If I really have to settle for this and then settle for that, then it's really ass. Um, I got, uh, God, I don't feel like this is a 15 frame Punisher. Like some something makes me feel like it's not negative. It's not 15. Just in my gut. What is this? This was three, three, and this is negative 16. I can't get, I can't deal with this frame data sometimes. It's like, uh, it's, I don't know what I'm looking at in terms of here and here. There's like a lot of stuff written that I can't understand, obviously. Um, let me try this. This is the same string I'm thinking about. It is, but I just want to do three, three. So let's do this. Or I should probably stand block since I'm doing a mid afterwards. Fucking Christ. All right. One more time, because I'm really bad at this, apparently. Holy shit, come on. Work with me, lady. What the fuck? Okay, I should do. Holy shit, where are you going, lady? getting flash kick and if I'm getting flash kick I'm getting this crazy shit all right I think we're gonna have to worry about this another time what is her wall standing to oh my god her punishes might be trash her punishes might be god awful this is not this is not a good look for this lady. I'll be honest with you. Well, we'll stick at that. Uh, I'm going to believe her while standing four is in eleven frames. I'll believe it until someone proves me wrong. Assuming this is 
Is this her wall standing game? That looks like wall standing four. Plus five on hit, negative six. Uh, for a wall standing move that doesn't have anything else out of it, that's pretty common. So that I'm, I'm going to say that's her wall standing. Uh, wall standing four. Um, what else do we got? This is, I believe, this is duck jab one, duck jab two. Um, yeah, full crouch three, full crouch four. These are pretty generic numbers for all of these. Um, wall rising one is 13 frames plus. Right, she has a. Uh, she has her, okay, so out of her wall standing, one, two, she has one, two, three, and she has one, two, four. She has also one, two, three, back three. Is that canceling the judgment? Yeah. Cool. I will definitely fuck with that. That's sick as fuck. Hoi. That's cool. I like that quite a bit. Can do the same with down four two. So this is basically the same string. So yeah, down four one two four. There's down four one two three. It's the same thing at a wall standing. So I assume this is her also her thirteen frame punish from wall standing. It is. All right. So you can do wall standing one two. All things considered, for a 13 frame um, wall standing move, this is kind of shit damage. This is not great. Uh, a lot of characters get knocked down from their 13 frame wall standing, like Dragonov, Kazumi. Um, not everybody. Even, um, what was I going to say? Even Leo doesn't get a 13 frame knockdown, but she, at least she gets like the she gets shoulder, which is nice. It kind of puts them in this like knockback situation so we're looking at so that's uh while standing one while standing two while standing three is this while standing two 18 frames 18 frames for her while standing two so usually after i get af i get past her fastest startup or someone's fastest uh, standing launcher, I usually put the extras down here. Uh, negative 13, 18 frames. So th this is her wall standing too. It can only punish big things. That kind of sucks. Um, while standing three. Is this also 11 frames? It seems about just, it seems about as fast just does more damage huh and it also has the opportunity to go into chaos judgment cool I kind of like that is it negative 11 on its own can I test it that way mid I'm a fucking moron um what's a down forward four what's down forward four on block down forward four seems like it should be negative 12 just just like just like glance from the look what the hell was that what the? F Are you serious? I. Can't. 
thank you for good tricking. I didn't know if I could say your real name on over the over the camera, but thank you very much for being my very my very first sub. That means a lot. Thank you. It does. It means a tremendous amount. Uh, I will get you. I will get you a. Um, I'll get you an emote. I need to get you an emote, don't I? Damn, I was about. I didn't think I was gonna get my. It isn't okay. Well, thank you, Alstar. Man, that means a lot. Thank you. Uh, I need to get you an emote. I need to think of an emote. Fuck, I thought I had a lot more time for this. God damn it. <laughs> we'll think about that. I'll think about that over uh, SCR time. I didn't know if your name was a mystery or not. I don't know. Sometimes I feel weird saying people's names over the internet. Anyway, thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. It means a tremendous amount. Is this more? Is this more than if this is more than negative twelve? Man, I got a sub. That's super weird. I just feel like I don't deserve it yet. <laughs> I just feel like I have a lot more time before I deserve subs. I'm just digging around for now. Wow, you're right. It is negative sixteen. That's such trash. Oh, that is such trash. How is this going to be negative 16? Are you serious? Jesus Christ, that sucks. I'm not happy about that. Considering that she doesn't have a lot of generic lows, like... These are all her... That's her down back three. This is her down three. This is her... Uh, what's it called? This is her down four. This is her down back four. How are people going to react in time? It's, it, it's, they're not, it's not about a reaction thing. The thing, uh, the fact of the matter is that if you want to go for a, a, a low committal or a very small committal low and they guess right, let's say you're in this situation, right? You're getting into a round ender. You want to use this because it's a standing low? You get your ass kicked for this. Leo has the same thing that reaches from this far away. If your lows are better for extra damage when she gets the combos going. Yeah, you might be right. Might be able to do stuff that way. But like Leo has a low that goes from like this far. I have a low that goes this far almost. About two units. And I'm able to and I'm negative twelve. That's the only. This is the only benefit to this, is that you're able to, you're able to hit them on the or what's it called? You're able to get good damage off this. Oh yeah, you're supposed to do this. That that does the most damage. That's the only benefit from this. If that you hopefully get them uh, get a counter hit. I want to. I want a twelve or negative twelve low. I want a non-committal low. I want a low that doesn't lose me the game, basically. If, I, if it gets blocked. I think we're... Get minimal Ana time. But that's impression I get. I, I kind of believe you. Because a lot of her lows like this are like... Kind of weird. Like... This or like... Down 4, four, four. Like just stuff like that. It's like kind of weird. stuff like that it's, it, it's slightly weird anyway uh i think i got most of her punishes down uh if not all of them i think we should leave a note for maybe while standing three because i can't read japanese holy shit getting the Um, but this is pretty good. This is a working knowledge. So this is what I do early on. What I do is I go find this. I have all of her punishes now. Um, and then I'll write a note like, um, like into CJ, something like that. And then you write notes across the board, right? Um, do something like this. 
do I want to put this on your side what how plus did we say this is dun, 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 dun. It's plus two uh, so leave a load like this plus two this gives me some idea to work with um while sending fours that are not knockdowns are usually your turn this one does a shit ton of damage and gives you a CJ mix up. So there's stuff like that to work with. Three, four, knockdown. What can I get off this? It doesn't look like I get much. I'm trying to run up for a uh, meaty 442, but it doesn't look like I get anything like that. Yeah, so that, that seems uh, that seems how to do it. Use Anna the whole time, huh? Interesting. Yeah, Anna's uh, what's it called? Anna's pretty cool. I like Anna quite a bit. I think a lot of her game, uh, just on like uh, first impression, I feel like a lot of her game is revolved around uh, CJ, which makes sense because or it's like a very very uh iconic part of her tool kick is what i wanted to say and then her full crouch game which is uh, a lot of mix-up stuff so let's see all right so we got punish this down uh this is pretty good then we sort of then i try to look for like what else's launches so stuff like this and stuff like this things that are not obvious uh, things that are more tool based in order to get launches. Uh, this full crash down for two, stuff like that. So, um, just write some of the down uh, ones I already know. There's like, so you get launches, launchers, uh, Ford Ford four. Full crouch. Down for two. Uh, can you guys see that? You can barely see that. Uh, and I can't scroll it. Huh. Okay. I don't have to do. There you go. What I could do is do this. I'll do this. Uh, there you go. Do this. That way we zoom in uh, a lot more. And then there you go. That's very similar to the window. So now I can I can play around like that. Sweet. That's a lot better. Full crouch. Down four two. Sweet. Okay. Full crouch down four. Magic four. That's right. Counter hit. Uh. That's right. I should leave that. There's. Uh, counter hit four. What else? Full crouch down four two. Uh, up four four technically, but we'll work with that later. What else? What was I thinking about? Uh, there's. Oh, down back three. Launcher from Crouch. Uh, Crouch dash two. Can you get a combo off this? Oh, counter Crouch dash two. Sick. I didn't know that. Thank you. CD two. Counter hit. Um. 
Here you go. Uh, CJ four. CJ four four three. CJ four four four. Um. What else is there? Does this give me anything on counter hit? No. Okay. Crouch test two. Uh, yes, uh, technically also. Counter hit, crouch dash one. like that. I am really bad at crouch dashes on uh, player two, player one side. Really bad. You see how many inputs it takes to get me a crouch dash? Anyway. It's cool. Okay, so we got a bunch of launches down. That's nice. That's what I want. And then... What we're going to do is we're going to sort of separate them into, like, the combos that they need to do. So, for stuff like this, this will need a down forward one. This, this will need a full crouch down forward one. Um... On forward four, we'll need a uh, down four three two stuff like that. So I want to separate them like this. Counter hit four. What is counter hit? How do I combo off counter hit four? How the fuck do I combo off counter hit four? How far does that go? Is it back four? Yeah, look at that. There you go. I need a combo off this. I don't have a combo off early screw. on accident for um what would i do off this some ideas um that's an idea Really shitty idea. Or, uh, so this is so you, this. I wonder if that will pick up. That's something. I do uh, down forward th three two, down forward one, forward three two. That seems like it's pretty good. Down forward. Oh, you mean into a uh, crouch dash one. My bad. My bad. God damn it. Into four, three, two. That seems like it's pretty good. Just one too late. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, that's 
probably in a combo class of its own. So I'll leave that up here. What was it? It was... All right, four, back four, screw, and then dash, down forward, three, two, down forward, uh, CD1, and then forward, three, two. This seems pretty good. Um, I have one idea. Let me try it. Gotta be kind of on point with this magic four. You have to be ready to hit the. Uh, you have to be ready to hit the. Uh, what's it called? The back four. God, I think I can. I think I can hit that. That'd be crazy. All right. Kind of hit that late. You can technically go into CJ after the 443. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like it's pretty good. That sounds like the way to go, honestly, because this isn't a ton of damage. I feel like I can hit that quicker and I'm not. Okay, that doesn't look like it works. I'm trying to get uh, something after the CD one. It doesn't look like I can get anything off it. Although what it does look like is that if I'm this close to the wall, I can probably go in for a C uh, Crouch Dash 2 one. And Crash Dash 2 one's a really good high spot, uh, high spot move. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, I wonder if I could do, if I wanted to get there, I'd probably have to do something like this. Yeah, that sounds like it's pretty good. So you do dash up down forward one. Uh, in order to get a little bit farther to judge the combo a little bit more. That's not a bad idea. It's not too hard. I'm just bad. I'm trying to see if I can fit another uh, down forward two in there. Or down forward one, two in there. Hey, Pericles. How's it going, homie? Hope you're doing well. Oh, you can hit it. All right. Cool. Let me try this first. I'm afraid that the one will whiff. Uh, I need my back on the wall, though. Switch sides. Back's on the wall. All right. And I also need to stop key charging every single time I do this. Leo mains can execution. Yeah, I'm trying my best. I feel like I can do it. I could be wrong. I need to stop key charging. I turned on counter hit for a reason.
kind of don't think it works. Yeah, I kind of don't think it works. Man, does that work? Does that work in a Blom Bomb? If I get it fast enough? Man, you can't even get into a port 4. That sucks. I love easy combos like this. Practice makes practice. Yeah, you know. You you know. I like that quite a bit, actually. You do down forward 1 into uh, down forward 3 2, CJ 2 1. You get a high. You get a. What's it called? Uh, a high spin. Sort of like. Um, sort of like Brian. Uh, quarter 4 2 1. And you're able to get a mix up off it. That seems impossible. I'm gonna give this one more good shot. Oh, it was, yeah, it is impossible. That is like the best I got. That. How accurate is the schedule? Uh, Ace King uh, tweeted off uh, at SCR. Let me, let me, let me, let me look at it. Uh, Ace King, Ace King, the God. First, retweet it because he's the god. Um, let me change the size of this real quick. Dragon Ball pools. It looks pretty accurate uh, given the information that was given to me. Uh, six, eight. Yeah, I mean, everything that he told me, it looks like it's in, it's in line. gonna have to get up at nine i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get up at like six from my house to drive over to ontario i gotta see if there's somebody i can uh, spend the night with over there because i don't want to wake up i don't want to wake up that early i also don't know if i'm supposed to be announcing what i'm doing Why is there four hours allocated to Guilty Gear Top 8? Anyway, what were your questions on it? Uh, Tekken being only top 32 on Sunday doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you know, they decided to run a, they started to run a 2v2 on, on Friday. But uh, the one good thing about about the way that that works, uh, the one good thing about how that works is that top 32 to top eight, first of all, it's two hours. That's crazy. Second thing, second thing is that um, it makes it so that all the players who get into the top eight don't have to cool down before they get into top eight. Dude, I have to. Yeah, if this is if this is how the schedule looks like right now, I have to get up at six uh, in the morning in order to shower, get ready, eat, and then drive over to the venue. So I think I'm gonna try my best to see if I can find somewhere to stay. Uh, it does mean that a lot of top 32 is gonna be off stream. Uh, I think that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, the way that the schedule looks like right now, they have four hours allocated for Guilty Gear Top 8. Which is funny because we've run Guilty Gear Top 8 on Sunday before. And we were definitely done in like two hours last time. Uh, if not, 2.15. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it means like Top 32 is going to be off stream. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of disagree with it. Partly because I think that... Uh, Tekken 7 being one of the last Tekken World Tour events and also being um, being one of the last Tekken World Tour events and also being the first Season 2 tournament on the Tekken World Tour. I feel like there's going to be a lot of eyes on this, despite it being a challenger. 
and uh, this might uh, sully some people on that, which kind of sucks. That's that's that kind of sucks. What was the combo I was trying anyway? And then what did we do? Did we do... Oh, this is what I wanted to try. That's right. God, I keep going to, like, dash up full crouch. Or she keeps going into crouch dash from here. It's such a pain in the ass. You gotta stop right before you you get to her. That's such a pain in the ass. Jesus Christ, this is such a pain in the ass. literally looks one or two ways for me now what the fuck do i have to tighten that up i think so there's one thing i wanted to try out of that what was it i got too focused with not being able to hit this fucking combo oh that's right Damn it. I was hoping that this would high splat them in some way. It's also kind of weird how on day two the Tekken pools don't even start until like five. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I'll. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Looking through this, uh, looking through the schedule, if I see the schedule the way that it is and the way that it stands right now, um, I would want this to be a two-day event. As it stands right now, looking at the schedule. The two highest entrants for this for this tournament, I believe, are Street Fighter V, uh, which is a premiere event, so that makes sense. And then Tekken 7, I believe, afterwards is the second highest. Uh, Street Fighter V at 262, Tekken 7 at 178 for a fucking challenger event. Um, 166 entrants for Dragon Ball and then after that is Wii U at 137. After that is uh, Cross Tag Battle at 83. Okay. Do you want to? Uh, do you guys want to look at the pools? I can get done with like my basic analy uh, learning, and then I can go through the pools real quick. It doesn't have. It doesn't have any of the. Uh, what's it called? It doesn't have the Echo Fox boys, but I can go through the rest of them and make some sort of predictions. I'll do that. I'll do that. That sounds like fun. I'll do that. Let's do let's do a little bit more Ana, and then we'll we'll do that. Uh, 
Sounds pretty good. trying to hit this triple elbow combo this way. It's kind of hard. You gotta hit the second one like the perfect height right here. I think I saw someone say if you did a, if you did a, a dash uh, crouch dash one it makes it a little bit easier. But crouch dash crouch dash ones are kind of hard. this right what the fuck all of a sudden i can't do crouch dashes Pretty close. Ah! Alright. First year I went to Frosty, I studied the people who were planning on winners losers, and I went oh and assuming I went oh and two. That helped a lot. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I like pull analysis quite a bit. My only problem with it is that two of the people that are like uh, probably like hot contenders to win it, JDCR and um and Saint are entering late. So this is sort of has a, a, a bigger question or a bigger problem for me in how um, tournaments are run in terms of tours and late registrations. I think there's sort of like this weird, like shitty middle ground where it's like if you late reg, then um, it's like this really bad situation, right? Where you go, if you let's say you have a, a person that late reges, well, you have one of three options. You have either A, the option to throw them into one of the pools that has a buy or an open slot. B, you have one of the slot, uh, we have the, you have the ability to, um, what was it? A, you just put them in a, in a random pool. B, you make a death bracket of everybody who just entered late and put them in there. Or C, you uh, re, you, uh, what's it called? Reseed the brackets and then remake the brackets accordingly. This is a problem with all three of them. One, that's not fair to anybody who early registers. That means that the person who had, you know, a priority seating for being, let's say you're like third and fourth place got seated because they ent or they early registered. That means in the first and second seed show up and you get the first seed in your pool. That's kind of shitty, right? Then you're, then this is pretty rough. Second, um, so now that doesn't look like it sounds like a very good option. Death bracket. Well, death brackets sort of create a instability in your tournament. If you, if you think about it, um, actually this happened to NCR, NCR 2018. The, uh, NCR was like pretty famous for its death brackets in Street Fighter V because they were so hard, right? People would late register and you have a bunch of killers in your in your death bracket. And the problem with that is that this year the death bracket was by far the easiest bracket. Like if if someone had recognized early on that they were in a death bracket or uh, that the death bracket was like really easy to get into or get out of, I would, that would have gotten you to top 64 at a premier event. So you would have been like, all right, sick. Like, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go through the death bracket, beat everybody up. And then I'm top 64 winners. Why, why would I play three of the best Street Fighter V players? Or three of the most notable Street Fighter V players to get out of pools when I could just play a bunch of nobodies and then get out in the same way. They do have to definitely reseed, but the problem with reseeding now is that you've uh, you've entered you finished your late registration on September 9th, I think. Is that you? So what? You have five days. Nobody's can be unpredictable. That's right, and that's the that's the allure of the death bracket, and the and that's cool. Um, but at the same time, it is more likely that people who are taking the tour seriously are going to be entering tournaments late. 
or early. That being said, this has happened twice now where Saint and JDCR have like entered late and then they've like they uh Saints entered late at SCR or at NCR, sorry, and he won the, won the tournament. Uh Bronson had to sit and reseed the brackets. So it's one of those things it's like there's no good answer here. The and because the answer the other answer would be answer D, which would be um not allowing late registration, which uh which unfortunately favors people who are sponsored and and not people who are unsponsored because if you're unsponsored and let's say you come up on some money two weeks before the tournament you're like damn it's time to go but if you're sponsored then you should be asking your sponsor to put you in these tournaments anyway right so that it and you can plan that out way in ahead because you're like all right what's my schedule for the year well these are the events i have to go to for the tour let's get me scheduled for all of them i'm good but if you're not a sponsored event, it, uh, a sponsored player, it might be that from time to time, you might not be able to know whether you're able to go to the tournament until a month or two weeks before. And then after that, well, you're kind of shit out of luck because there's no late registration and that's unfair to you. I don't know if there's a good middle ground here. My middle ground that I thought of that you were able to, you put people in a late registration. Um, if they late register, they're unable to get uh, tour points. That but if they early register then they're put into regular brackets if they late register they're not yeah reseeding when um when people already expect to come to a certain pool time really fucks with people as well plus i don't know why they're going in the first place uh they they might be going to enjoy la uh, a lot of i remember a couple times ago they went and they just had fun they just showed up and they were just like chilling for in LA for like a week. Might just be enjoying themselves. Get some extra points. Get some extra money. Okay. So that's my that's my thoughts on it. Um I made a video about this like way after NCR happened because it was like there was a lot of talk about how the death bracket was the easiest bracket. You know, it's just kind of it was kind of weird right like the death bracket being the easiest bracket it's kind of weird but they, uh, they had that issue at dreamhack denver when our local scene street fighter 5 shot the bed because they expected their brackets to not change even with late registration being a thing yeah, that's the that's that's the thing, right? Is that uh, people are expecting when I look at my pools, let's say pools come out, they came out on Monday today or this week or Sunday. You look at him, you go, all right, I'm scheduled for 9 a.m. on Saturday. Sick. All right, cool. Close it up. I'm good. I'm going home. Um, but then you sort of expect something else or you get something else when you're there. Cool. This is one of the things. This is really weird about Anna. I don't know if you guys know this, but Anna, when Anna does her thruster on Anna, oh, and she blocks it. No, it needs to be non-counter hit. That's what it was. She goes through her for whatever reason. If we had a station on side, people who could recheck their brackets. That could help a ton, except for from the CO, TO desk. Uh, yeah, you mean like an info desk? An info desk would be great. I actually thought info desk should be at tournaments almost always. It should be separate from the TO desk. Uh, this info desk could also have uh, info like the rules on the tournament if you wanted to recheck those or you wanted all, uh, a bunch of other things as well. Anyway. Yeah, that'd be sick. I think that I think that'd be really cool. I'm I'm all for that. All right, let's get back into this. Let me let me run through these real quick. I'll go through the launchers and I'll go through like one a couple other things and then we'll we'll call it and then go into go into what's it called? Uh, pools. Look through the pools real quick. Four 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 is. Let's pull it up. There you go. 
40, uh, forward, forward, four is 31 frame startup move. That is, looks like it's jump state from. This doesn't say, this doesn't make any sense. I doubt it's jump state from, from three. I completely doubt it's jump state from startup three. Um, but that might be the case. Anyway, so this is zero on block as well. So this is pretty good. Uh, you, it's, pr it's, I'd assume it to be pretty linear. Uh, in fact, I had almost, I'd almost guarantee it's pretty linear. Falling heel. That's pretty good. Oh, I think I'll call that move. That's a good name. Subway Wang, what did you hit me with? I also created a Twitch Tekken Frame Data Bot to help uh, pe wa people watch the stream cable up and try to understand what's going on. It'll tell you stuff like what moves to plus are and be one with the Tekken community. That is mad sick. Holy shit, that's super cool. I like that quite a bit. That's super duper cool. I like that a lot. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to keep this tabbed. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I could use that right now. Seriously, I will. I'll keep that tabbed and try to try to implement it in my stream later. That sounds like a really good idea. Anyway, uh, Ford Ford Ford. Let's see. What did we say? We said it was really linear, right? We assume that. We're probably right. Um, it's Ford Ford Ford. I need a step left. Oh, I also need to not start on the wall. That'd be sick. Wow, that hit me on the way out. That's crazy. <laughs> I totally didn't mean to do that. Wow. Can I step left? No. There you go. You gotta step it a little bit early. Can't step it on reaction, so you have to sort of guess. And then uh, after this, you can chase down one, two, one, four. Or hold on. There you go. Or you can do, I think, two, one, four. Oh wow, you can't. It might be in certain situations where you're you can you can do that. Wow, maybe not. You almost want the one to whiff. Yeah, you almost want the one to whiff. That's pretty funny. How do you screw off this? Huh, really? You don't... You don't get that? That's weird. Cool. Okay, that's good to know. It's uh, not as linear as I thought, honestly. I can't step it on reaction. Yeah. Step it on reaction, you'll get hit on the way out. So, that's good to know. high splat with this it was yeah the high spot with this is it feels like if you if you screw early get the high splat let me see if i can do this combo then that's pretty good right that's pretty good So do what, four four, and then down four one. Uh, four two, 
down three two screw and then down back one four i don't know how to denote delay i think it is asterisk i think though i think asterisk was hold i don't know how to denote delay either way i know that's fine okay so these are two classes of launchers i believe this combo is pretty similar the full crash down four two one you just do full crouch down forward one and stuff. Yes. That seems pretty easy. So what we'll do is we'll take this. Oops. And put it right here. And that FC DF. Cool. Similar combo. Uh, up forward four. I believe this is a down forward uh, three two combo. And then the rest of this is pretty similar. So I believe we have a couple classes of launchers here. This will go under here. All right. Delay is, oh, I put an asterisk. I didn't mean to put an asterisk after I said that. Like this? Okay. From Tekken Zaibatsu Legend. Do you put it before or after? I appreciate you sourcing your <laughs> sourcing your information. That's hilarious. I could have just believed you, but you sourced your information. That's impressive. Is it like that or is it before? I'd imagine it'd be before. That'd be my guess. Crash Dash 1. What's the Crash Dash 1 combo? Seems like Double Crouch Dash 1 is the answer to this. I should probably say Quarter Forward 1 because Quarter Forward 1 uh, is, is the actual input. So Quarter Forward 1, Quarter Forward 1. Um, what was it? It was... That seems about right. I should, put my, I should my put my back against the wall again, so I have a lot more room. You can so the thing about this one is that you can't like do two immediately, otherwise you'll whiff. So you kind of want to uh, delay it a little bit, and then from there you kind of want to make a decision. You can do. Yeah, I thought that would be too much. So you want to do, you want to hit him in a way where you can get down four, three, two here. Hey, I thought, I didn't think about that. That's probably better, honestly. What did that do? 64 damage before I screwed? 63 damage? What about uh, the knee? What about four, three, two? Sixty-three. That is better. Nice. We're coming up with combos. Hmm. I guess we like a lot of ideas, actually. Wow. Why doesn't that work? easy screw from there that would be so nice can I get my brain in the right order come on uh -uh. there's no way there's no way that doesn't work uh, 
I want to bet this works on like everybody else. I want to like 100% bet that it this works on everybody else. This does 54 before the screw. What does this combo do? 48. This definitely does more damage. Huh. I found a better combo. Sick. This probably... So the I think the folly with this combo maybe is that if you hit it too far, it might not work. You go so far, and she like really tucks her leg in when she were uh, during the forward four, four four four. Yeah, this is but this is a much better combo. So probably I think every combo where I was putting a standing um, down four one, I can probably do that instead. Wonder if I can get a crouch to cancel out of this. Probably not. What was the other combos I was doing where I needed the down forward one four? Down four down one four. This is really good to know. I already came up with a better combo. That's nice. Um, so this hits. Alright, let me first off take counter hit so I can get a better damage idea. Okay, so this is four four. This is the combo I was doing before. Sixty-one damage after the unscaled flip over. Now it's like I gotta get the dash up afterwards. Man, I'm missing the dash up though. Can definitely be done. If it can be done, I'll be really mad. Yeah, okay. So that will do 67 on its own. So that's a six more damage. That's much better than this. Yeah. 67 damage. That's good. All right, I need to adjust this combo. Where did I write this combo? Forward, forward. Uh, this combo is a little bit easier though, so I will leave it here on the side. Uh, I'll format this later for right now. Get this. What was it? It was down forward one. I could probably think of something better than down forward one. This does 13 damage on its own. 13 damage, 14 damage. This probably doesn't hit though, cause it's a high. Um, huh. I'm trying to think. There's no way on earth this works, right? Yeah, that doesn't work. What else? What else do I have? This, I have this. Um, I'm going to assume back two doesn't work or back one spins her like in a weird way. So I don't think that's going to work. I could be wrong. Yeah. This is probably, this is, uh, this is a good enough combo for now. I, I shouldn't be combo exploring. Uh, I shouldn't be combo exploring to be honest, but I enjoy it too much. Three, two, screw into, uh, down back one delay four. Okay. You format this slightly better later on. A four four. 
Huh. That that gives me that gives me pause now. What about this combo? Can I do more damage if I do this? So let me let me figure out what the damage value was before. That was 55 before unskilled. So this that was 68. Um, if that was 68, then let me see how much this does. It's kind of more tricky because the dash timing is a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. It's nothing you can't get used to. Hold on, does she have a screw at a crouch? I'm going up. I'm an idiot. She doesn't have a screw at a crouch. Okay, that's probably for the best. Uh, what else? What was I thinking? Oh yeah, this. 68 damage. That's exactly the same? Really? Huh. Uh, my other thought was this. Yeah, that does more damage. Cool. What was I doing? Four, 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 three, two afterwards. That uh, 72. Cool. Uh, core 432. Whoa, that was. This combo, but we were doing it earlier. Instead, of we're doing it. At, we were doing it after the screw. So we're doing it here instead. I like this combo. This does good damage. Okay. Uh, what was this combo we came up with? It was... Let's see. What did we come up with? We came up with... There's no way that works, right? There's no way that works, right? That's going to do a ton of damage. That's gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, what? Oh, that did counter hit damage. I was like, all right, because it did. Uh, it hit on scale. So that's uh, 68 before. So 81. Holy shit! This was. And then we did crouch dash three two for the screw. I need to I need to put the better inputs or uh, the more accurate inputs here. Quarter forward three one.
I guess in this situation it would be right, right? Because you're, crou you're crouch dashing, so it would be fine here. Down forward. Here you go, and then three, two. So I guess the last thing I would want to try out is if this works. Oh, that does work. You gotta, it's kind of tight though. kind of have to hit the crouch dash one super quickly oh man how did i hit this last time is it was that a fever dream come on maybe not as fast as i thought In any case, this is more consistent. Until I figure out the trick for this. hit it once I hate when I hit shit only once maybe he was slightly off axis and I didn't notice it it was that should be what was that 73 unscaled so that was 86 that's not consistent though tied to my bread and butter in my head now. What? I hit it. I hit it again. What the fuck? Maybe it's a delay on the Ford Ford 3. That was a super late crash dash. That might that might work. That worked. That worked. That worked twice now. Why is that working? Why is that working? I don't know why it's working. I just need to get the dash up afterwards. But 
That's gonna do 86 damage. That's crazy. I don't know why, but if I double tap one, it's working. That is, so that's supposed to be 13 on skill. That's 86 damage. That's crazy. All right, I'll put two combos up. I'll put this combo. Which is. Consistent. And then I will do crouch dash one, four, three, two. And then this is harder. Okay. Cool. That's a cool combo. Man, I love making combos. This is a lot of fun. All right. Crouch dash. Um, can you not pick that up? Might have to do down forward one first. That is 67 damage. So that's pretty good. Um, what would make this easier? So I think the all the times that I've been getting really good damage is I've been doing down for three two first and that's not gonna work I think the next highest damage combo I found was this one so let's try that I think that works Okay, um, or down here. Sixty-seven damage. That's pretty good. Okay. We'll put counter hit quarter four two. Take that and uh put it under this list of combos what we want it to do there there's probably a better way to do this but I'll figure it out later right now if they're grouped then all the combos work if they're not then most of these combos do work, but these are the better damaging combos. So this will this is a, a good way to do it for now. Uh, what's it do? I'll do a little bit more of this, and then we'll do the other thing. What was this combo? It was. Full crash down for two. Down four. Can you get down for three after the, or can you get down for three after this? That's my question. Hmm. That's right. That doesn't work. Um. The only other thing I can think of is possibly this. What did we, we made a down back three combo for this, right? Are we gonna go? Yeah, yeah, we made the basic combo for this. Okay, this is CJ4. That's fine. I, I'm down to keep it basic on the combos right now. 
even though I'm really messing around. CJ443. This is a crumple stun that leaves you in crouch? Ugh, that's so annoying. Um, you m might be able to do something like while standing one as uh, in in supplement of down forward one. Let me try that. You, I think you might. What was that 65 before the unscale? Was that 65 before the unscale? Let me try it again. 65 before the unscaled, so 78 in total. Um, so what combo were we doing? We're doing the down forward one combo, but supplementing it with wall standing one instead. Do this and then put while standing in here. We got a combo. Nice. Okay. CJ444. You might be you might be able to do the same double crouch dash one com or a quarter forward one combo. Double thruster combo. It might be tough. I think if you get the thruster, you might be able to hit this. So I should try to just hit the thruster right now. I'm trying to time it really well. Ugh. Might not be able to. You might not be able to, actually. Uh, I should recheck the damage on uh, CJ443 because this combo does need a counter hit launcher. Wall standing one. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Seventy-three damage. That's fucking really good. That's really good damage. Yeah. Uh, discovering that combo has really been really helpful. Oh shit! I didn't want. I didn't even see Pat follow. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate the follow. That pop up. Did that not pop up. Twitch alerts. God damn it. I don't know when they work and when they don't work. Shit pisses me off. Um, browser input. Try this again. Does this work on anything else? Does it work on here? It totally doesn't. <clears throat> Alright. It was working, it was working earlier, so that's why I'm surprised that it's not working right now. Uh, not that one. This one. This one. He was totally working earlier. What the fuck? All right. It's cool. It's cool. All right. What else is there? Am I forgetting anything? There's like a lot of other stuff where like if you get a counter hit down two, you can get it down back three plus four. Um... Just stuff like that. CJ444. I don't think you can get this combo. I almost did Crash Dash 1 like almost immediately out of recovery here. Um, so what would be the next best combo if I can't do that? Probably just the uh, with the same combo without the extra crash dash one. I can try it. 
No, I can get a better damage combo out of this. Shits. Shit, come on, buddy. So, I guess, like, what would... The only other thing that I think would open up her combos... If I was able to find something post-screw... If I were to find something here, this would be much like I'd have a better idea on how to like fix this character up for combos because I wouldn't be so afraid to put everything in before I get the crouch dash. So see like it's just like I'm trying to fit so much in before the uh, before the screw. I think that's like, if I were an Ana player, then I think that would be my next project. If I had good crouch canceling, I would think I would be able to do a uh, down forward 3-2, crouch cancel, down forward 3-2. God, I'm really sad that combo doesn't work. The only other thing I can possibly think of is that you really early screw instead. This does 17 damage. This does 39 damage. So I would do something like CJ444. There's no way that doesn't work. I'm just bad. Wow, that ugh, fucking Christ, that might not work. God, this character's combos. Okay. Set uh six seventy two after unskilled. Uh, if that's the combo I'm going for, then I might as well try to fit this down for one in there. something else I can do technically the scaling should be the same if I do quarter forward one down forward one down three down forward three two technically come on that should work Labu Labu. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's the only thing I'm actually good at. I, I also love making combos. I'm getting the down forward one, actually, when I fuck up my crouch dash one. What was the combo I was doing? I was trying to do crash dash one and a down forward one. What was the combo I did before? He did 72. I think it was straight into this. I think it was straight into the cra uh, down 4 3 2. Oh, it's that combo. Yeah, that does 72. So I labbed that stance last night, and a dick jab beat all the options. Except for do nothing. Yeah, that sounds about right. CJ. Uh, CJ is pretty good, but it's also a risk. 
because out of CJ, she has just like a lot of like mid stuff that doesn't really reward you all that hard. Like, you know, like none of this like is like super duper scary. That might be scary, I guess. God, I hate these fucking crumple stuns where I can't pick up off uh what's it called? Uh, let's try this one more time. Man, I want to pick up off raw down four three two. That'd be so nice. Wait, I might be able to do that actually. That might be a good combo. Yeah. Nice. What was that before unscaled? So it'd be 73. What was that combo I was doing? Just popped into the end of the Nintendo Direct. Is a Hachi in Smash? Isabel confirmed for Smash. Who's Isabel again? I'm not a huge Nintendo nerd. Do you mean from fucking Animal Crossing, Isabel? That one. Are you serious? Holy shit. We got another Animal Crossing character? <sighs> you know... Zero is zero is much harder. Yeah, Hex is gonna be really happy. Hex is gonna uh, is gonna enjoy that. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I I don't think it's gonna unless she plays like unless she plays like something like super cool. I don't know if I I don't know if this is gonna be like I don't know. Animal Crossing is so fucking big. Like how do I know what what's gonna actually like bring people in to play the game? You know. I have to look at one thing real quick. What was my down forward one combo? This combo. This combo might be obsolete. Let me try this. That does 72. What was the combo? What was, uh, what am I doing instead? What was I doing before this? This is doing 67. I did 72. Yeah, that combo's obsolete. Sick. All right, down for three, two. Down forward. Uh, CD one. Four, three, two, screw. Okay, cool. Made a new combo out of this. And that means, that means I'll just put this one up here for now. I wonder if that means that this combo can be better too. It does. It do. It do. 78 damage. It do. Oh, I did write it down. Cool. Isabel's a hoe. <laughs> That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Ain't no problem. No problem. You know, it was it just off the double quarter forward one combo? Was it was it why I was having trouble with this? No, this is I, I'm getting better at this. I think this is consistent, but I want to leave this combo up just in case I want an easy combo. But this seems like a good, wait, good combo. I like this combo. And so I'll cut this and I'll put it up here. Hey, CPT, how's it going, man? So 
I could probably find a better combo than this now. Full crouch down four two. Um or down back three. Oh, I get a wall standing three off this. I think I can find a better combo off than this. So let me for for record's sake. For record's sake. What did I get on this before? For record's sake, I got this before. So I got full crouch down forward one. Or a full crouch down forward four one. And then four two, right? I have to like retrain this in my head now. 48. 65 damage. Okay. That's pretty good. What is what is this new combo that I'm making gonna do? Oh come on, buddy. Work with me. Um Even this combo would do more damage. But let me try this. What the fuck? That's so weird. Can you delay? No, it sort of cans. I usually stop at 65 good enough. Hey, I haven't played uh, Time to Mess with Steven 2. Oh man, that really sucks. Uh, I kind of want to mess with some new Kazuya stuff. I think there's some stuff that can be really scary. I usually stop at 65. Yeah, 65 is pretty good, right? It's 65 is pretty, pretty darn good. But we will, um, I, I kind of like, I love making combos. That's so weird. Why does that not work? Do I have to let them fall later? Let me see if I make them, let them fall later. Ah, uh, I guess that combo doesn't work. This still does do more damage. This is this combo I just want to do for fun. In case you want to style on people. 64 damage. Uh, what was it? It was... We're doing this. And the wall standing one. Wall standing one. Down for three. Crouch cancel. And then don't fuck that up. Man, if I didn't fuck that up, uh, fuck that up, I'd do two more damage. I'd do two more damage. Yeah, I know you're a Kazmane. Oh, shield clock is. Dude, I... Li Actually, CPT's got it right. CPT's got it right. If I'm going to start hating people with some cool shit, then I... Why am I not playing... Like, I want to play Kazuya because I want to hit cool shit all the time. That's what I want to do. I want to do the sick stuff. CPT's got it right. That's why, like, every Kazuya player has to go for uh, counter hit down 4-2 into electric. I remember very specifically, there was one tournament um, that Cody, Cody Vu, Cody Vu could have won that round that he was playing. I think it was, oh, it was um, the Tekken event at E-League. This puts a little bit hard. It was the Tekken event at E-League. And Tekken... And Cody would have won his match if he didn't go for down four two into electric. He had it was like he hit the counter hit down four two, and I was like, oh sick! Like he hit the counter hit down four two, get a combo, and like it would have been super close if he didn't kill, but he would have killed probably with the electric combo. But that fucker did it. Tried it anyone, he dropped it, and he lost the game. But it showed me that, like, Kazuya players, when they, when, like, you have to do it. You just have to do it. There's no if ands, or buffs about it. You have to do it. All right. Uh, let me see if this is different in some way. Uh, okay. So, you can't get the wall standing one off the full crouch down for two. So, that's important to note. Uh, what about CJ4? CJ4 is very similar to uh, down back three. You can't. Okay. So down back three is the only one where I'm allowed to get the wall standing afterwards. Remember Foster Faustings this year? He pulled it off against the Link and lost the round. So either way, he would have lost, I guess. 
is the moral of the story here. But the thing is that you hit some sick shit, so it matters. Frosty Faustings, man. Fuck, I can't wait to go back to Frosty's this year. Arc Revo Tour event. The, uh, that would be the first event that I did uh, Tekken Top 8. So that's super cool. It's sort of a full circle. Dude, I don't know how Ryan Hart is... Um, I don't know how Ryan Hart's execution is still as good as it is. That's It's fucking insane. Like, I watched that dude play now when he entered his last tournament. Or, uh, yeah, when he entered his last tournament. And that dude still hits, like, fucking triple electric combos. Like, no problem. I'm like, what the fuck? How are you this? How are you still this good? The god Ryan Hart. It blows my mind that Ryan Hart is still that good. <sighs> okay. I didn't put the CJ3 combo somewhere, so uh, I should do this. Where's that down forward one? Counter hit CJ3. That proves that he used over NA. I don't know about that. Hey, I've uh, I've I've actually been lucky enough to be able to follow EU a little bit more this year. I've been. Uh, I'll admit that in four, in Street Fighter Four, I was a huge EU fan. There was a lot of players that I really liked from the EU that I, I loved watching, uh, including players like uh, Viryu. Viryu's Makoto was super fun to watch. Uh, he was one of my favorite EU players back in, back in uh, Street Fighter 4 days. I was a big fan. Uh, uh, I was a big fan of Luffy as well before he won EVO. Uh, not saying that as like a hipster kind of way, but more so that uh, a lot of people were me mega surprised when he won Street Fighter 4. And... Uh, when he won, uh, when he won Street Fighter 4, everybody was mad surprised. Like, oh shit, EU. And I wasn't because I was keeping tabs on the EU scene. Uh, as I do with the, as I do with the Tekken World Tour. I, I try to keep up with the EU scene as best as I can. And, uh, I'll be doing my best for Arc Revo. I want to keep up with the EU scene because they have a couple tournaments over there. We're gonna try this combo one more time. And if it doesn't work. Why does that whiff? Ugh. It's one of those things where it's like, uh, I have, if I, I guarantee you, if I'm sidestepped to the left just a little bit. Wait, I was supposed to do this combo. No, it's just fucking, I think it's her weird legs. Anna's got a really weird hitbox. It's like weird all around. Why does that? Why does that happen? That doesn't happen on anybody else. It might happen on Eliza. But this is—it's super weird. She has a weird hitbox. So um, that combo might work on other people. Let me try. Let me tie. Let me test it real quick. Let me test it real quick. Sefi Black, awesome. Yeah, dude. Sefi Black is hella fun to watch. To I'm gonna actually gonna watch a bunch of Sefi Black and um and awesome footage because they were like the big dogs of the season one characters that got buffed in season two fergus obviously we talk about fergus fergus is the homie he's a great player great player he's one of my favorite players to watch in the eu uh blackbeard blackbeard was blackbeard was undoubtedly my favorite season one player to watch from the eu i loved watching his josie um we're picking let's pick a a more regular uh size female character dude fergus uh fergus is probably this year has been my favorite eu player to watch along with sefi black super akuma obviously always sick um i always be kind of biased because socal's got ricky and ricky's the homie i'll always be mad biased to that uh to ricky so what, what else are we gonna oh yeah i was gonna try this does this work yeah, see? She doesn't go through other people. 
it's only and then what was the combo we're gonna try this down back three combo So it doesn't work on her either. Let me try on the guys. If it works on guys, then this makes a ton more sense. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Let's try this on. Lei Wulong. I can't wait to learn Lei. He's going to be so much work, but I can't wait to learn Lei. I think Super Akuma can be like... Super Akuma, I feel like... Okay, so there's just like this thing that I know in Dota players specifically where like they have this twitch in their head and I have it too so I know it's real where every now and then you just have to do something stupid you just have to do something stupid like there's a ticking time bomb in your head where you're just like if I don't do something stupid in like two seconds I'm gonna fucking die and this is like in Dota this is where like one of the players just blinks into like five people trying to initiate how do, how do people play this character? How do you remember all this shit? Dude, it's a lot. Of, I imagine that Lei, it's a lot of repetition. A lot of repetition. Uh, but in for, for me personally, I have this thing. I have this twitch in my head where it's like, if I don't do something stupid right now, I will fucking kill myself. I will literally explode. There is a bomb in my head right now. And if I don't do this dumb thing, I will, it, I will just combust everywhere. And Super Kuma has it. I have it. A lot of Dota players have it. Uh, it's just this thing. And it keeps you from winning games because you're like, I have won. I have had a game where I go, I am like literally two pixels away from winning the game, right? And I'll do stuff like, uh, I'll hit this down forward two. And I'm like, sick, I hit it down forward two. What if I tried to do a shoulder to finish it? And I fucking lost. Instead of just doing this fucking regular ass combo. I could have just done this. And I would have won the game, but instead I'm like, hit a shoulder, and I fucking lost. I lost a tournament match that way at Wednesday Night Fights. And I got run back six rounds straight because I was like, I can't believe I fucking dropped this shit. Instead, like, I could have just done this. I could have done anything. This would have been better. So, like, trying to quell that itch is actually super duper hard for some of us, including me. Yeah, it's, I think it's, um, I think it's mainly embedded in people who want to do really cool shit all the time. And Kazuya players, I can definitely understand that they have that. Because they're very rarely do you play Kazuya and you go, let me do the safe bread and butter combo. Rarely do you do you say that to yourself. Every time you're just like, I want to hit the sickest possible fucking combo. I feel like Super Kuma needs to be in the zone. Yeah, there's a lot of like sports studies that talk about the zone, right? Oh, I need to try this combo real quick. Because it's this really like weird elusive thing. Wow, that combo doesn't work at all. All right, good to know. That combo doesn't work at all. Good to know. So I don't need to worry about it that there that zone right so like sports talks about a lot if you guys don't know like i'm a big sports guy i watch a ton of soccer uh or football if you're from the eu i know we have like some uh, a mixed audience here and so oh yeah so that, would, that would explain how much football i watch right anyway uh so in, in football there are a, a lot of people talk about this where they just go shit like when i when i played in that moment and it's like they usually like go back in a, like a interview right and they go like what were you thinking and during that moment and the a lot of people when they say they're like i wasn't thinking anything it was just my body it was moving and a lot of the moments that even i had that were pretty cool when i was playing uh soccer football um i was I, I said I did the exact same thing where I was like I didn't know what was happening but I knew that I was get hit I was doing something awesome hold on one second
Oh, my wallet's right here. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting food. Just give me the fucking regular beef bowl. What? Uh, the medium size? Yeah. 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 And green onions. Sweet. I need to get some fucking food. Sorry. All right. Continue on. What are we doing here? I think we're pretty good on combos. I, I kind of overextended this. 443 is also a launcher. I forgot about that, actually. Um, but I imagine that uh, I can do this combo. Nope. Let me see. What was the... Okay, I can do that. So that's fine. This is a good combo. There's a better way to do this combo. How did I do... What did I do for this combo for filler beforehand? kind of weird uh i can do stuff like this this is a really bad combo i've found so many better combos than this i think i might have to go for the a little bit more of a bread and butter combo here that's really weird why can't i get a better combo than this I'm trying to think about all my combos right now, and I'm trying to think about which one's the best. It's probably this. That's still 65. You saw the Anna. Oh my god. Can you stop this? Stop this. Of course it doesn't mean that. Of course. Did they do anything to direct? Oh yeah, they announced Isabel is now in Smash. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. It's just it's just so silly. God, why doesn't this work? I don't like this. I don't like how this doesn't work. Okay, so I think the only thing that I can do possibly that gets me more damage than what I'm doing right now is that if I find a better starter than down forward one after my launch. There's a lot of situations where, where what was one of the combos I was doing with down forward one? Four, 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 right? I do four, 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 and then I go down forward one and I use it to stabilize the combo. This is where I can do, I can seriously maximize my damage, right? This is where I can get slightly more damage, but I don't know what I, what is better. There's a lot of there. I I think. Oh, you know what? You know what? I might have solved it. I might have solved it. Oh my god, how does that not work? This makes no sense to me. Why does this work? I'm, oh my god. It's like this weird delay thing. There it is. Alright. Alright. Oh my god, that delay is so annoying.
how like it's just so annoying because when you do a combo like this it like fixes itself really nicely also i'm not getting the crouch dash right now obviously you uh delay that last part but when i'm doing a down back three combo why does that not work i feel like i'm hitting it at the same point ah actual animal crossing for 2019 that's nice i think people would be pretty happy with that the only other thing i could possibly think of in this situation is going down back three while sitting three does that work actually So I have to do a bit more testing on this combo. Ugh, that'd be the only way to get more damage out of this, honestly. But it doesn't work. Uh This is really disheartening. I guess that works, but that's not good. See, I got it to work that time. But not that time. So this is, I'm gonna call this combo inconsistent until I, I figure it out. Wait, that works. But I did something else before that. Holy shit, that worked! What was the other combo I was doing that wasn't working in, off this situation? Fuck, I don't remember. Was it 443? I think it was 443. Hey, I might have found more damage. What was I doing before this? I was doing this, right? And then 61 on scale. No, I was doing this. That's 65 on scale. Okay. But off this, this is a little bit different because I need a stabilizer beforehand. Okay. So this might work. Might be too far for anything afterwards is the only problem. It might be rough. It might be rough to get anything afterwards. God, this combo does so much less damage now that I've found better routes. I think I, I, I think I can run quicker than I think I'm running. This is just uh, slightly less shallow than I want it to be. Um, I might be do running Fort 4. I might be able to do this, actually. That might do more damage. That does 53, if I can get it right. 54, never mind. That seems actually too rough. Um, I might be able to do Blonde Bomb afterwards, actually. Sixty-one damage. So less damage. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to settle with that until if I find a better way to do this. That's not so bad, honestly. 
The other thing I kind of want to mess with is I want to mess with stuff like that, like where you get an early back, uh, quarter four two one launch. Um, but there's nothing that like screws fast enough in that scenario. 61 damage is pretty nice, right? But I was trying to find a better combo, and it seems like this is the best combo. That's 67. So that will do. That will do. Uh, I think. What else are we supposed to do? We're supposed to look for all of her counter hit options. So a lot of the times for her counter hit options, it seems like, um, what's it called? Dab back three plus four is the way to go. It seems like it does a lot, a lot of damage. The only thing to consider out of this that's not that is stomp. Uh, but sometimes you have to do like a little dash forward. So the dash forward's kind of shitty. Uh, you can walk forward just slightly. I like this move. It just like this shit is unnecessary, but you get a little dash up. Uh, but it keeps them next to you, so that's nice. You can also do, what was it? It was up three plus four, All right? But that slides them out too, and that's but that's uh, mega easy to input. There's stuff like this. So all the counter hit moves that sort of lead into that. Uh, this also gives you stomp if you want it. And the stomp obviously gives you Oki. What else? Um, I guess. What am I writing for notes? So I have, mo I have most of my notes down. Uh, this is this is good. This is like a good start for what where I want to go in terms of uh, carry. Oh, you know what I need to do? Is I need to do a low parry combo. I usually always forget low parry combos. So let's do um, let's do this. That's pretty easy. And then let's do that. Hey, there you go. That's a good start. Huh. Boom. That's pretty good. And the fact that you get unscaled damage on your uh, low parry makes this so much more worth it. Hold on. Uh, what am I doing here? Fucking Christ. I hit that the first time. Video game, please. That's such trash. How am I going to hit it the first time and never again? There we go. 52 damage. I don't know how consistent this is. Uh, what if I drop the down forward one? Fifty-one damage if I drop the down forward one. That's hundred percent worth it. Maybe I was just bad the first time. This is not that. I've hit it three times now. What if I do this instead? Hold on. Uh. Wish that would work. Go. Low parry. I kind of want to do that. Fuck low parrying. Why am I not CJ that shit, baby? Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah, that shit's sick. Seventy one damage off CJ. Eat. Seventy two damage. Still doesn't work, that sucks. Uh, I kind of have an idea. This might be a shitty idea. Let me try it. Uh, let me, uh, four, three, four, three. Four, three. This might be a shitty idea. Okay, I'm not, my brain doesn't work because I didn't formulate the entire brain in my head. What's the frame data like on her CJ shit? Like, how quickly can she low crush? It seems like as soon as it starts up, you can low crush. Uh, is there information on back three? Let me see. Back three, back three, back three, back three, back three, back three. Down forward, down third, back, 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 back. Two, back four. It seems like they skipped CJ. Negative nine on block, knockdown on hit. Seems like they skipped CJ, huh? Forward, forward. I believe these are all the CJ moves. No. These are the CJ moves. These are the CJ. Yeah, there you go. CJ. Um, CJ back three. Don't know what that 16 is. Huh. It says uh, full recovery in 60 frames. But I don't know how. It, there's no way that this is 16. Because I've seen this punish junkyard. If this is the case, if this is the case, that means forward forward two into down forward four will not work. Let me try that. Oh wait, she's not blocking. Fuck. Yeah, she's not gonna block at all, huh? What's gonna th something that's gonna give me plus nine on its own just off regular hit? Not that. Fuck. I think that's... I think I saw that this is plus nine. Uh, back four. Hold on. Back four, back four, back four, back four. Back four on its own. Plus nine a hit. Okay, sweet. So plus nine a hit. So this would make a seven frame gap. This would make a seven frame gap for her. Let's try, what are we gonna do? We're going to do, well, first off, we have to pull off the wall. I can't do that because she'll wall splat. Wait, will she wall splat? I should probably check that. That would also be information to know. We're using back four. Back four does not wall splat. All right, good to know. Probably get hit. Probably get hit. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely at not seven frames. Boom, baby. Oh, uh, that shit's sick. What would be the other really good test for this? Count, I'm thinking Dragonoff counter hit down two into one of his generic lows. Oh 
because uh let's see rb um dragon off counter hit down two is guard state 13 to 14 frames generic uh full crouch down forward or full crouch down three it starts up in 12 okay that doesn't work at least not for us Wait, was I looking at the wrong thing? This is damage. This is damage. 16. So that would mean a, a three frame gap, most likely. I'm pretty sure this list is tagged two frames. I was told that this is, uh, what's it called? Seven frames. I could be wrong because it's on the seven list. Well, oh, you mean they might have pulled that out from tag two? Uh, probably. It's a good, it's a good start, though. Hold on one sec. Step set three is plus on block and T seven that says negative one. Okay, you might be right. So let's try with a character that we do know the frames for, right? That makes sense. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Anna Williams. Anna Williams. Anna Williams. Dragonov. So we're gonna do a um, counter hit down two into a full crouch uh, three, which is a low of 16 frames. That is about the low parry gap, I believe, is three frames. Boy, that's at least three or four frames. Because you can low parry this. Boom! This is about low parry timing. Uh. Baby, that's sick. Character crisis. How's it going, homie? Oh, that shit's fucked up. Look at that. Going for a low, bitch. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Hmm. On combo. I can definitely make this combo better. doesn't work. I mean, oh, yo, Sammy had an idea. Hold on. Wow, that fucking doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? All right. Another idea. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, what else? You know, I'm giving up like one damage even if I get the down port one in there. So this is fine. Counter it. Uh, look at that. You got fucked up. That shit's sick. This is the coolest thing. It really is. You guys use down four three two down uh down forward one or down four three two four two and then down four three two screw yeah 
generally it feels like that the um this combo right here uh it it, it seems like this combo is better overall but Sixty-seven, and then seventy-one. That seems like it's it's just like a lot more consistent for a combo uh, in in terms of damage. So uh, good to know. It's about low parry timing. Uh, I don't know if there's any better situation for us to test. I do not. that's three frames um what's his what's his other low his other low is a 12 frame startup <sighs> that doesn't help us oh wait wrong one i'm looking at the wrong one down four is fast how fast is this generic down for 15 frames yeah but I, I was trying to do it off down two and down two uh gives you the the plus frames i was just trying to think of something off the top of my head i don't know if there's anything more that i could uh like better off i mean anything that can give me plus frames in such a way where i can do something that it has a smaller gap than that because to do a lot of lows you sort of need a big uh, to test this you need a big gap or a big amount of damage or a big amount of plus frames. That's what I mean. 23. Down 3, 4. Counter hit, knockdown. That doesn't help. <sighs> Usually down 2 is the uh, most, uh, most you get from counter hit. Yeah. Right. Uh, usually, like, they made it negative 1. So, or uh, on counter hit, what you get. I will say that this is about low parry timing for now. I could be wrong. At worst, this is four frames then. At best, it's three. So that's some testing for you. Uh, uh, what else? What are we doing? Finish that low parry combo, I guess. Why doesn't that work again? So let's do this instead. It's like one less damage, I think. Yeah, it's one less damage than what I was doing before. That's a good low parry combo. Oh, obviously you can fuck him up for that instead. Seven. 
Yeah, that's usually this is usually the best combo I found so far. Seventy-one damage. That's pretty darn good. Okay, cool. Uh, I got a low parry combo. I should probably put that in my notes somewhere. Where? What combo was I doing? I was doing the straight into this one. I was doing this one. This seems like also my forward forward uh, three combo. And this also seems like my uh, low parry combo. What was I saying if I got, um, if I actually got Chaos Judgment? Was I putting it down forward one in? I don't remember. No, I wasn't. Okay. And I decided that this combo doesn't do as much damage. Or not that combo. This combo. Not that combo. This combo. That's a 67. Okay. So this combo obviously does more damage. Sweet. Okay. So that is also my low parry combo. And my... Um... CJ low parry combo. Should be right here. Put this up here. Cool. You should practice these. Uh, you should, yo, you should practice these tech combos. Up forward three, micro sidestep left, down forward three, four, two, and four, four, two, micro sidestep, down forward three, two. She's a down, uh, down three, four, two? You mean down forward three, four, one? Four four two micro sidestep right down four three four one. Why would I want to do that? It's all right, no worries. Inputs are not a big deal. So why would I want to do this? Because this seems like it would be uh, a risk. Oh, are we hitting this? On hit. Micro sidestep right. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, look at that. The up four three is easier. cool I like this this is a cool bit of tech especially considering you should probably use this a, a, a lot what is this called this is called executioner you should probably be using this move a little bit because it's plus six at least in uh it seems like it right come on work with me oh man I almost got it see it it screws too uh what combo can i use to screw huh i won i wonder there's no way there's no way that works right there's no way that works Hey, hey, that works. It does less damage, though. That's good to know, though. Yeah, one hit screw. The only problem is that, like, it's kind of short on range. So, like, right here. 
even with a dash up. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Cause in that in that range right there, it's a little bit faster than back four, but in this range it's like, I was saying it's like right here. -ish. Oops. This is where back four is like a good range. So you do have different tools to work with. Okay. What uh, what was I saying before that, before I was saying that? Uh. Oh right. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Three. Oh, four, three. Forgot about axe kick. Does this launch on counter hit? Of course not. That'd be too nice. Although I like this move quite a bit. This does 23 damage. Less damage. Okay. As much as I like it more. Oh, I forgot about this as a launch. There you go. Oh, wow. I might have to find a different combo for this. Nope. Never mind. No, wait. If I, say, if I do it out of... If I off axis on the... If I'm off axis, it doesn't work as well. Huh. Let me try uh, doing this. Hmm. If I'm off axis, this doesn't work, so. That's an easy combo that does 60 damage. I kind of want more than that. I might be getting greedy, though. So I said love is a consistent bread and butter from sidestep uh one plus two. But if you sidestep right, I've used down four three two, down four three two. Yeah, this is like mega easy. And it doesn't feel like it fucks up all that much. Ah. In a lot of these situations, I'm I'm sort of a lot of these combos I'm sort of betting on early screws. Like even like sort of this. Or late screws, I mean. If I want to do a high spot combo, I probably have to do combos that like uh, jettison one of the hits, so I can do some. Like it's it makes this kind of difficult, but it, it is possible. I think any combo that I use like seven hits for probably is a very very difficult. So. If I screw on the 6th hit, it's probably more possible than if I screw on the 7th or 8th. I was just thinking about something. Uh, what was one of the other combos that I was doing that uh, had more hits in it? This one? Off 4 4 4. Okay. So I think off this, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm gonna drop all these combos now after I've made them and hit them consistently. I'm gonna be so mad. I was hitting this combo so consistently. Huh. That shit is inconsistent. No, you can't. Uh, quarter four, two, one. Yeah, it seems like it. I was hitting this so consistently. That sucks. Got to opt to the down 4-2-1. Uh, the down 4-1. Uh, I disagree. Only because even if you do this combo, it's it's much... It's Because if you do this, uh, do the 4-4-4 combo. 
Actually, you know. Is that not gonna work? Do I need a deeper? still that kind of sucks uh you yeah see the only problem with that is that it really truncates her damage quite a bit right 61 uh where if you do man i was hitting this like when i first said oh yeah look at this new combo i was hitting this so consistently i didn't think of it i didn't think anything of it so now that i'm not it kind of makes me worry Combo's way too inconsistent. This combo isn't. That combo's fine. This combo, however, is. So, that's unfortunate. I think I can high splat off this if I still if I still do this combo. My inputs are just being bad. Do you know? Uh, do you know the far screw ender? What? Maybe. Let me know, and I'll let you know if I do. the other one oh yeah there you go much earlier than i thought uh four 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 three four you get uh you get 4-3 back here. You go into CJ. And either 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 3. Yeah. Running 3 plus 4. Huh. Uh, let me try that. Hey, that's cool. I like that quite a bit. I like that quite a bit. What do I do here? Uh, oh, or CJ 2 plus 3? What is this again? Yeah, Booty Bop. I'm down for Booty Bop. That move is cool. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's sick. I'm for it. That's actually some pretty good wall carry. Ah, come on, buddy. Work, work with me. Um, 
my brain's turning into mush. Yeah, my brain's like really turning into mush right now. Yeah, it's turning into mush. But I did it once. I know what you mean. That's good. To, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, there might be a combo here or there where I fucked. I could. I said I couldn't do it because I scaled it too hard. Uh, and it got too far. But this might be a better ender. Let me put this in my notes real quick, so I don't forget it. 4, 4, 3 plus 4 back, 1 plus 2, or 2 plus 3, and do. I, I came to give you some things so you can figure it out a bit more tricky on your own. You seem to have the hang of the rest. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, it means, means quite a bit. Thank you. What are we gonna do here? We're going to. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Ah, all right. Sick. The chat room disappeared. You guys did chat at something the last two seconds. I didn't see it. My bad. What? It did it again. Ah, all right. Okay. Cool. So this seems like it's pretty good. Um, what's a? Let's see. I don't know what to call this. I call this like non launchers or like something like that. What do Anna's legs look wet? I don't know. She's sweaty. She's been doing a lot of work. Leave some notes. Mess with this ender. Okay. Cool. So we have some notes. We have some notes. We're making some notes. Uh, let's take this. There you go. Non-launchers. So uh, a lot of the things are. Uh, so non launcher, non launcher combo slash counter hit, uh, not confirms. So what did you call them? Not counter confirms, but like counter hit enders. Whatever. Fuck it. I, I don't have a name for this. There might be a better term for this. All right. Stuff like uh, counter hit down two. So this exists. Can't get usually can't I don't think you can get anything off this. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can get anything off it. So we do if you get a counter hit down two, you can get a down back three plus four. Um or you can get here. I should probably space this properly get down back three four or you get a down three plus four uh micro dash uh down three plus four so you get counter hit down two wait no it wasn't off uh this wasn't the micro dash move right was it no, it wasn't. Okay, not this one. God, that does so much damage on it. Well, that's counter hit, so it probably does like 43 on its own. So that's quite a bit. Uh, What else? Wine opener. That's called. That's what that's called. It's a good name. I'm calling it wine opener. It looks like it's supposed to be a wine opener. Down four. This gets, I think, the same follow-ups. This one. Why do we use this one? Okay. That's why we want to use that one. So, actually, that's right. We want to put this right here. Uh, what else is there? There is probably counter hit sidestep three. That's not. That looks like it was another one. 
Can you you can't pick up off this, right? Yep, definitely not. So, uh, actually, I should probably also confirm that this works. And anytime that works, this probably works, and you get more damage. So, cool. Uh, ah. Sidestep three. What else is there? Uh, does it give you anything on counter hit? No. These are all counter hit. Uh, what was it? It was forward, forward, two, and up, forward, three. These, according to uh, a friend that came in a second ago, he said that you get a forward, forward. Oh no, wait, forward, forward, two. It was forward, forward, two. Forward, forward, two. You get a sidestep. We have to sidestep right. go that's good damage so you do sidestep right um, down three or down three four one with this one you do sidestep left forward portal four, so you do sidestep left nice Slightly more damage, because this does 26, and I believe this does 25. Yeah. What else? Uh, oh, actually, that does. those are both counter hit damage. I'm pretty sure they get the same thing on regular damage. Or uh, regular hit. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't a good enough sidestep. 46, and then probably 47. That was too slow. Cool. Okay. Um, let me look through her move list real quick and then also try to figure out what I'm missing. All Rising 2, Rising Palm, Face Wash, Chaos Judgment, Cat Thrust. There's a lot of moves like that where it's like. Probably don't get a combo with this. I was right. So offer offer full crouch four two. She gets this thing too. Okay. What else? Actually, I should start from the top. Okay. I haven't found a Rage Drive or a Rage Art combo, so I gotta figure that out. I'll do that later. Uh, uh, I gotta see. It are like. What was that? It was uh, 214. I wonder if that stuff's like counter hit. No. Okay. So then you know that any low that looks like that probably doesn't uh, counter hit launch. I know stuff like this does. This was the, um, this is similar to CJ at Fort 4. No, uh, CJ Fort Fort 4, that's what it was. And then I probably did a better combo than that. I probably did a better combo than that. Why the fuck did that happen? All right. I missed the running thing. Okay. Archie going SCR, sick. It'll be good to see you, homie. It'll be really good to see you.
64. Did I put that in my notes? CJ counter or counter CJ three? Yeah, there you go. Wait, did that work? It does work. Was it 73 damage? Come on, buddy. Oh, you're heading down here? All right. Well, hey, I'll see you in a bit then. Have a safe drive all the way down to SoCal. Or a flight, whatever you're going to do. Do I need to do this faster? Cool. Well, in any case, I know that that combo works, and uh, if uh, worse comes to worse, I can truncate it. I think I truncate it for like one damage for more consistency. That was 59, 64, 62, I mean, 72 damage. Yeah, I might have to truncate it just for more consistency, which is fucking fine. I don't know why the drops on certain characters. So I'll, I'll remove that. That still does a ton of damage. Down four, three, two. This means that this down forward 3 2 combo works on a lot more characters than I thought. Works on all of this as well. So let's put all those here. Sweet. No, wait. Why'd I do that? Did I put them in the wrong spot? I think I put them in the wrong spot. I totally put them in the wrong spot. Okay, they're supposed to go here. So this is our uh, bread and butter. Seventy-one damage, pretty darn good. All right, let's go back to what we we're working on, which is uh, things that are not counter hit launchers. So look through the moveness. Uh, straight face wash, which have brown house. That's just a knockdown. Jab sweep. That's probably uh, this. Yeah, same animation, so it's probably the same. 3-3-2. Three, three, That's a launch. There was another counter hit launch from Crouching, and I forgot what it was. It was like down three something. That's a really weird move. Oh, this, right. This is what, plus 19 we said it was? On counter hit, uh, I think you get a forward two. Yeah, forward four, I mean. So let's see. Counter hit, uh, counter hit down forward one plus two. Wait, what did we say we got off this? This is where we got... Uh, oh, we already placed it up there. Nice. Down 4, 3, 2? Down... Is that what I was thinking about? That is what I was thinking about. Thank you. Counter hit launch. Uh, this is similar to Huaring's. Counter hit launcher from low. Seventy-five damage. Woo okay, I need to put this under the higher list. This is a lot more than just a regular combo. Uh, counter hit down three two. Sweet, thank you. I knew exactly what I was talking about and taking more than two seconds. Yeah, 
I don't know how I got that combo to hit before. There's a trick that I don't know that makes that work. There's a trick I don't know that makes that work. It is what it is. Uh, what else? We're, we're trying to figure moves out. This is a counter hit combo. Man, that hurts. 33. What is her down forward three on right? It's down forward three. Um, where's that frame data patch? All right. Down forward three. I, I believe like down forward three was 14 frames. It was. So this is down forward three, four. It's also, okay. It is natural. 33 knockdown. Uh, it's a mid. You know, I should probably put that in my notes. Uh, down forward. Three, four. Mid. Okay. Cool. There's a better way to organize this, but I'll do it later. <sighs> what else? Um... Down, forward. Oh, let's continue on. Move list. I kind of kind went past all the strings. Uh, I don't want to think about the strings too much because the strings are a lot of like, uh, I. so I, in my head right now, what I'm going to do next, um, next stream, is when I'm gonna learn Anna a little bit more, I'm gonna go through her move list in more detail. So I'm gonna go through all the strings and stuff like that. And then um, also, I never I never said anything about this, but I do know wall enders. I should probably put, probably, probably put an enders list so you can do like, Enders would be like on wall splat. Um, enders would be like the down back. Um, down back one delay four. Forward forward uh, one plus two. This move right here. Uh, what else? And then wall splat. Wall splat would be uh, two down forward one uh, one two three uh wall splats down forward. Down forward three two four two plus three. I think that's what it was. I completely forgot to lab wall enders. Oh no, I'm supposed to do wall but switch sides. Also, why did my mic get away from me? to do something I was supposed to think about something else I mean does that work I wonder if you do um down forth That might not work. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. 
can probably do uh what was the other thing i was doing uh 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 63 damage that's uh that puts uh ladies behind you i think you get oki off this yeah you get oki off this that's a easy way to get a little bit more damage i saw a a fergus do down for two three fourth See? I can see that. Oh, forward three. My bad. Down, not down forward three. It's going to be hard to train out of my head. Uh, you know, let me see. Shit. Uh, this might be good too, actually. No. As of right now, this is feels like the best combo puts down uh, puts face down uh quite a bit of damage what is this you get a wall splat if you're close and you don't want to do the little back dash because the reason why i'm allowed to get two down forward ones in this case is because i'm able to uh what's it called back dash. so if you don't want to do that oh is the sidestep cancel oh Oh. Hey, hey, that's cool as fuck. I like that. And now I'm not doing it again. Sick. I like that quite a bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that one. Wall splat. Also... Come on. The e I like this combo. Uh, however, I like the, the booty bop combo. Because it's sort of it's sort of easy to do because you can button buffer it. You just got to be careful. Just hold three, two, and then. Maybe I'm bad at button buffering. I'm bad at the thing that makes it, your combos easier. Yeah, that's the only problem with the booty bop. What else? There is. I wanted to do that combo. Uh, not that combo, this combo. But that's like way too hard. Notations are hard, I know. What was it? What were you we saying? Down forward. Three, two. Up, down. Into side step three. Okay. Cool. What else? 328. Okay. Do yeah, I think for me though, this has been my favorite one so far because it puts people face down. Uh, not this because that's like sort of finicky. I've been doing this though. Um, puts people face down. You can get to deal with this mix up. If you have the perfect splat, you can also sidestep for it. 
which is uh, not a bad idea. All right. Finally, looked at my bank statement. Um, dude, money is hard. Uh, I feel you. Uh, I can do this combo. I probably should have spaced these all like I was spacing everything else. No, it's fine. I've already, I've already messed it up. I've already messed it up. Uh, Sixty-five bucks on round table and pizza. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I don't blame you. Pizza's pretty good. I spent a lot of money on pizza. That's why I'm getting fat. There we go. Uh, I should note that this puts... Uh, what's it called? This puts face down. This is important to note. My buds took me... Yeah, see, like, if you're just gonna, it's a, it sucks when you spend money like that, but, um, obviously, you know, the, the memories of the food and all of that never fade away, at least for me. I love eating, so, all that stuff's really nice. Uh, what is this? This does the head bounce input, right? Yeah, this does, uh, wait, I didn't look at it because I'm an idiot. No, it doesn't. Okay, this is good for Oki, too. Probably consistent. Uh, probably more consistent than this and probably doesn't like uh, push out of the way when you do this So so what is it doing That but that doesn't do that much damage uh, These are good wall combos unless there's something I'm forgetting I think I was seeing this which is not bad, but it's kind of a shitty wall combo. If you could like, if you could like, store how to like buffer it, it might be better. But you really can't. Uh... Yeah. So this is that's sort of it, really. Um, I think that's good for like Anna learning today. Three and a half hours of learning Anna. That's pretty good. I imagine it's mad consistent if Kurt, uh, if Fergus is go to. Yeah. Uh, the the only problem. So like the only problem with this one is that you sort of have to be on point with it because if you're not, then um, maybe not. It, it might be better if you're um, farther away, I think. I think if you're farther away, this makes more sense. Come on, buddy. Of course I'm missing it now. Yeah, there you go. probably consistent I, I like that actually quite a bit it's just I like uh, I put a lot of value on face down I know a lot other people don't um, but I put quite a bit of value on on face down because it forces tech anytime you can do something like that you can sort of get you can you can get good ideas on what to do afterwards so you like there's a like really good situation here where let's put this guy in random Right, you get this. Right. Uh. 
Like there's a you can really mess with someone when they're face down because all their get up options are much slower. They don't have a recovery kick either. They don't have this move, which is the uh, what's it called? Let's do quick recovery so that they don't have that move, which is it comes out pretty fast. So that it's good to know. So when you're doing something like that, that you can really mess some mess with someone when they're face down. Right? Like a lot of stuff here. Uh this is what I really like this move for. Where is it? Uh down back three, down back four four. It's kinda slow. And it kinda but it hits twice like that, and it's sort of really it's really hard to deal with. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, good dodge. Gets out of the way. So let's do something. Uh, it covers the ground a little bit more, right? Imagine if the wall is to Anna's right, she might be able to pick up after 442. She can pick up after 442. Oh, you mean for a better combo? Maybe. Oh, that does a head bounce too. You can pick up normally if that's what you're asking. You have to sidestep slightly to the right. Uh, you can do stuff like this. Or sidestep to the right. If I can get it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Come on, buddy. Work with me. There you go. Woo! Finally. So, you can get that. Might be able to get something better, maybe? situations like where you get this maybe more to the right yeah it's kind of hard stuff like that maybe there might be more stuff here anyway um what's it doing what was i doing all right i was looking for looking through a move list a little bit more head ringer wine opener Jab breaker. I was trying to see anything that I was missing. Uh, jab, rising kick, down two, icicle. That was down three, two. Down three, four, one. We were seeing where that goes in our game. Down four, one. Oh, that's our, the, lo the low pickup. Uh, this is tricky because you can go into, uh, what's it called? Uh, Chaos Judgment out of here. I actually like this quite a bit. This is from a low. Uh, how positive is it from the low? Even if this is tag two frame data, this gives me a better idea. I don't think it, I don't think a lot of it changes too much. But I've been told this is uh, some good data, so I could be an idiot. I'm most likely an idiot. I love moves that you can like sidestep cancel. Uh, you're negative 10. Plus one on hit. Plus one on hit. Cool. So you can do stuff like. Really mess with the one. I can do. Uh, what am I doing? You down four one. Positive enough for down back three three to high crush. Down back three three. Do you mean down back three, down back four three? Do you mean down back four three or down back four four? 
Oh, CJ down back three. three. My bad. Yeah. Look at that. That's just fucked up. You can do stuff like... That's dope. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, what else am I looking at? Cool. More, more looking through a move. Bloody scissors. This is such a good move name for a move I'm never gonna get to use. That sucks. Scarlet Spout. This is her Ender. Uh, it does natural. That's cool. What is this frame data? How fast is it? 16 frames. You can crouch cancel it too. That's nice. It sort of has like a weird place. In it. It, it, it's a game, but or it doesn't hit on the ground. I don't know what I said like last five words. Down back two four. That's a move that exists. Mudslide. That's the low. Severe Quake. Sepia Drop. Uh, these are the moves that we're using on on, on their own. Uh, do either of these counter hit launch? Oh, yeah. That's right. That does that cool uh, ender. What if it hits on their own? It does it on its own. Sick. What about 4-3? Uh, it does. It do. Did I not see that? Uh, does that leave you standing? Uh, you might need to down forward one pickup off this. Yeah, you do. You know what I could do instead of this is I could set multiple counter hits. Ah, uh, that's gonna scale the combo though. That sucks. Probably just go into crouch dash before here. Or crouch dash three, two. Is there something better? Can I maybe get a down forward one here? Doesn't do a lot of damage. Down four one four does not do a ton of damage. Down four one doesn't do a ton of damage. So it probably means that this is the best combo. That's probably the best combo. Um, it's not like big deal to note right now, but it's important to know. Weeping slap. This is her power crush. Um, I don't know what you get after this. Nothing? It looks like you get nothing off this.
That's kind of trash. That's it? I get the second hit of that? Not even. Fucking Christ, that is trash. I wonder if just the second hit hits. No, same thing. Uh, that sucks. But it is her power crush, so it's worth noting. It's also mid, so. Stalker repellent. This is her uh, hell sweep sort of thing. Double slap. So this is the move that like uh, women can replace. Considering how trash Anna's punishment is, I'm glad it gets, it's a knockdown. Uh, I kind of agree with you. You can probably get something on this, but I don't like that move a lot. Uh, I think we discovered most of what you can get off of... Uh, those other moves. Hailstorm, one, two. I don't know. I, I was told that you can get something better off this. Uh, up forward, one, three. I was told you can get a dash up, down forward, one. I don't believe them. I believe them now. All right. It's good to know. Uh... Where's the... I'd imagine that you probably can get a micro dash down for 3-2? Maybe not, because you're... The frames that, the frames that this takes up down... Uh, it's like 16, and this is 14. That's two frames for it to fall down and actually hit the frame... Or hit the, hit the, hit the move. I wonder if 432 after works after this. Shit. I was just doing this before. This is easy shit to confirm. But this is a lot of damage. Yeah, you're basically picking up off the ground at the, in this situation, so that's why this probably doesn't work. Oh, though I wish that would work so badly. Um, second idea. Yeah, that's probably not fast enough. Yeah, definitely not fast enough. You know, this is a pain in the ass to hit. I got this to screw once now, so I guess there is at least something to do with this. If I get a jab, I can probably do better combos hey there you go Even if, like, even if I just get the down forward, uh, down four one, it's like, it's 
probably not a bad idea. It's just kind of hard to get anything afterwards. Because, like, the screw is so inconsistent. Unless there's a better screw here. Really? That doesn't work? How does it not work? Micro dash 4 3. Uh, I'll, I'll always get 4 3. 4 3 out of that. I don't know what makes that consistent. Maybe a delay. You can delay it slightly. Yeah, you can delay it slightly. There's no way that works. Yeah, there's no way that works. Well, worst comes to worst. Uh, if I don't, I'll probably hit this for now. Uh, I don't really want to note it yet because I'm not gonna. I'm not. There's something better. There's that. We already noted that. Damage shield executioner. Treading water. Three for three. That's right. Falling heal. It's pretty good. Falling heal on the chaos judgment. Uh, Zosho Zanha. Oh, command throw. Let's command throw. Let's do blonde bomb and then. Oh. Sure. Okay. That's pretty cool. Cool move. Is it safe? If it's safe, it's good. Yeah, that's good. Forward moving. I like it. Uh, a little faster than Ford Ford 4. So it has its place there. Says Dagger, Crimson Arrow, par uh, Paralyzing Needle, Omission Storm. I wonder if some situations where you get like magic four back four, can you do dash up three four two something like that? Huh. Uh, what was the combo I was doing for this? I think it was like something like that. Uh, but I was doing this. Might be something like that. But we'll mess with that later. Piston kick. That's probably safe. CJ moves. That's negative 12. Why the fuck would I use it? All right. Uh, I guess it crouch states. That's why. Bone cutter, running three. It's a drop kick, rising palm, wash, uh, face wash, face wash. If this is a wall standing four punish, then or that's eleven frames and just does a lot of damage, I'm pretty happy. Wall crouching, right handed sweep. It's a full crouch down four two. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we already talked about that earlier. Uh, low somersault kick. Okay. 
Yeah, bread and butter. I forgot what it did before the unscale. I'm gonna try it real quick again. Uh, 76 damage. That's pretty good. High Somersault. Sidestep. Uh, Chaos Tail. That's a pretty good name. I need to write down move names. Uh, I'll do that on my off time. Heal Mash. Also a good name. Bloody Chaos. Also a pretty good name. I forget Anna is like really angry. 10 hit. He uh, grind. Heal Grind. Tenant combo that goes into uh, Chaos Judgment. Cruel Punishment. Let's see. Let me look at her throws. One throw is fucking crazy. The good thing to note about one throw is that it's actually the side switch throw. Opponent throws. Uh, here, let me get a little bit closer so I can lean back in my chair. Uh, there we go. Okay. My back's been killing me. So, this is one throw is the one that side switches. Good to know. Two throw does not. It just puts them to the side a little bit. Uh, on just regular throw, it not. It's good to know that on her two throw, uh, her she side switches, but she doesn't position switch. You take the one side, and now you have one P position, but your back's against the wall still. So, uh, I believe if you want to switch sides. You have to go for uh what's it called it's the other throw i forgot what it was but yeah losing face torso splitter from the left side let me see is the same mode from the red okay serpentine arm breaker from the left side yo that that fucking throw is sick i like that throw that's that throw is sick let's see this throw from the right side. Oh, no. From the right side. From the right side. Oof. Yo, I love that move. That move's it. Serpentine arm or this is a torso splitter. From the left side. This is the arm breaker. That's this to approach from right side. And this is the torso splitter. But I approached him from his left side. No, that was from the right side. I'm really bad. Oh, God. Horrible. All right. Uh, overhead triangle lock. Let's see what this throw is. Uh, that ended up just being his back. Or his, uh, his side. Oh shit, that move is cool. Overhead toss, this is the uh, the Williams throw. One plus two break. Uh, elbow smash. I should see what the elbow smash uh, break is, but I don't have them for it, so I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna do this again tomorrow. Drop the elbow, you get Oki. 43 damage, pretty good. Uh, does this position switch? This is the one that position switches. That one stays same side. Okay. Attack reversal, and then you have a bunch of uh, chain throws, which I'll go over later. Anyway, 